All right, the purpose of this video is to show you what Sisu looks like when used together with Commission Team. So if you're new here, uh, basically, you're gonna have your Sisu dashboard over here. It's gonna be showing you all these different metrics. And a lot of these metrics you're gonna be able to feed or, or complete without having to do manual entry uh, just by using your Commission Inc. Uh, setup. And so uh, our, the CSU team will work, they use a program called Zapier to help you set this up um, and uh, create all the workflows just depending on what you're looking for. But usually it looks pretty much exactly the same as this when used with Commission Inc. Um, we're using labels, so we have a bunch of labels down here that are being used basically to send information over to your CSU dashboard without you ever having to leave the platform. Uh, one thing before you get started, you have to make sure that your email that you use to log into CSU and the email that you use to log into Commissions Inc. are exactly the same because we're gonna take that email address and basically whoever this lead is assigned to in Commissions Inc., it's going to match with it in CSU and it's going to assign it to the correct agent and give credit to the correct agent who set the appointment or met with the client or uh, ended up actually signing the client. So just double check that before you get started. That will save you from you know, any possible errors. Now, to get started here, you'll see I have a client over here in Commissions Inc. And this has already been sent over to CSU. So uh, as soon as I added the appointment set tag, it flowed over here into CSU. Uh, it gave me credit for an appointment set right here. And I've actually already added an appointment met tag as well. So it's giving me credit uh, for meeting with this buyer. And if I click into these leads, I can see I've met with two so far this month. Um, we've got Bob Marley and Bart Simpson, which is uh, the other one that we're working with up here. So you can see that Bart has an appointment set date and appointment met date um, has not yet been signed. So I can pop right in here. I can add a new tag. Um, you'll notice you'll have a nice little folder here that gives you all of the options that you have to sync something to CC. Now right now, with this specific team, we have three set up. I'm gonna go ahead and add the third, which is the client was signed. Basically that this buyer, or if it's a listing, it's gonna count it as a listing, uh, has signed a buyer broker agreement. So right now we're gonna go ahead and do uh, client signed. We're gonna pull back over into our CSU, and I'm just gonna check something real quick to make sure that it ran. Uh, usually runs pretty quick. Uh, you could expect anywhere from one to two minutes for the changes to reflect over in your CSU dashboard. So we'll notice right here that BART does not yet have um, a signed date. And so that's why they're still showing up in my pipeline. They haven't taken that next step. So when I refresh this, you're gonna see that that signed date is filled out as the same day that I added the tag uh, in Commissions Inc. If I need to edit that date, I can just pop in and edit the record. Um, but we got that signed date. And if I come back onto my dashboard, uh, Previously, I didn't have any signed buyers. I can hit refresh. And it's giving me credit for that signed buyer. So the metrics that are specifically set up in this instance are set, met, and signed. This is a very common coaching uh, metrics to look at. The coaches want to know how many appointments did you set? How many of those clients did you actually meet with? And how many of those clients were you actually able to sign a deal with, whether they're a listing or whether they're a buyer? Um, really good coaching opportunities there to say, hey, these are your hottest opportunities because they're people that actually accepted to meet with you. Um, how many of those meetings did you actually end up attending? And how many of those meetings ended up with, how many of those meetings did you walk away with a new client? Uh, some other cool things that you'll notice over here, uh, Commissions Inc. is pulling in um, some good data points. I got it over here. Um, I didn't have a lead source set here, uh, but it will pull in whatever that lead source is. And so when I'm running and I'm doing reports, um, I'll know what the lead source is of the different appointments that I set. I can run a report and say, hey, show me all the clients that I've met with and what lead source they actually came from. So that's a really cool, really good uh, data point that you can get from this. Um, it will pull in a price if you've set this median uh, price field over here in Commissions Inc. You know, that may or may not be uh, actually an accurate data point at that point, um, but you can always come into CSU and add in some projections and say, yeah, I met with this buyer. They're looking to buy in the $300,000 price range or whatever that is, and then you can enter forecasted commissions and paid income. That can be done um, from logging in at my.csu.co, uh, or you could pull up your app. Actually, you'll have a mobile app on your phone where you can access all this data, you can track additional things on these buyers or sellers. Uh, for example, you might be tracking a lender, you might be tracking uh, any, any different fields really to know uh, how effectively you're working with these leads and what quality of leads you're working with. So 
that's basically how that works. Um, as you're working with these leads um, and they're moving through the pipeline stages, once you set the appointment, go ahead and just tag them appointment set. Once you actually meet with them, tag them appointment met. And when you sign the client, um, add them as a client signed. Now, the trade-off usually is that the agents will work out a commission zinc and track those things um, up until a certain point. And then the admin team can hop in from there and say, okay, this signed buyer just had an accepted offer um, and they'll take it through from contract to close. So they can go ahead and add in an under contract date. They'll add in a settlement date. They'll make sure that the transaction amount, the GCI, the paid income are all exactly correct to what they should be. Um, admins will also have the ability to uh, lock these deals so that the agents can still see them on their phone, but the, the data that's been inputted and that is exactly correct remains correct. It can't be changed or edited or accidentally, uh, you know, uh, uh, put in as misinformation. So a um, lot of things you could do there as far as transferring leads from clients all the way through to admin, all the way through to closing um, and tracking that, running contests, leaderboards, reports, and all different kinds of things. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you ever have questions, you can reach out to our team on the chat box here. And that's how you can feed your CSU dashboards using labels and commissions, Inc.